this is one of those things where to make that great comedy, you've got to follow a little bit of the formula. I'm not really a big fan of romantic comedies in general. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Movie Feuds. We are on location at Southdale Mall in Minneapolis. We just got done watching the advanced screening of Paranormal Activity 3. You know, uh, if you saw our previous review of Paranormal 1, I'm not a huge fan of this, you know, of horror, the horror genre in general, but uh, this one was actually decent. It was good, and I have to agree. I've seen all three of them now. Uh, this one ranks right up there. I thought number two was really good. It's kind of an underrated one. I think most people would, would agree number one, the original, is, is probably the best of the three. Um, but Adam disagrees on that one. Uh, this movie was scary. I mean, it had a lot of jumps. However, the big thing here was it had a lot of com comedic relief. The comedy really broke up the horror elements that you found in the film. It was a nice change of pace, uh, especially in the first movie. It seemed like whenever there was downtime, you were just waiting for those night shots again. Uh, you didn't care about the characters. In this one, I actually loved the, uh, the guy that was editing the videos, and I loved the wife too, so that was really nice. Same as the first two films, you're taking a little bit of uh, uh, liberties here with the filming. Obviously, you know, he's walking around the house, he's doing other things, and he's filming himself the whole time. Not really believable, but you're giving a little bit liberty because it's a scary movie and, ha and he has to get it all on film. That's their film style, and sometimes you just roll with it. Special effects were also top notch this time around, uh, especially when you compare to the first one like I did. Uh, this, I didn't see the second movie. A uh, nice little note there is if you're going to this one fresh faced without seeing the first two, you're good to go. There is a little bit of backstory because uh, it is a prequel, but it's pretty standalone. There's some questions that were brought up in the first couple movies. They didn't really address it in the third. I was a little bit disappointed in that. Um, if you've seen the first two films and, you, and you're going to go see this one, you'll know what I mean when you see it. Uh, but all in all, it's a great film. However, here's a little trick here though. If you've seen the trailer, now yeah, if, you, if you've seen the trailer and you thought this was a great movie or uh, you know, maybe you didn't think it was a good movie, see the film anyway because it's a lot different than what the trailer's made out to be. There was even some scenes that didn't make the movie that were really in the trailer and, and we've noted we, Two we've or noted three at least, yeah. The, 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 the girl walking off the banister or did you want them to find them for themselves? Well, I mean, you, you'll see in the trailer. Yeah. I mean, you, you should know going in, you don't get the splash of the water on the demon, you don't get the girl falling off the ledge. I mean, that's a huge letdown for me because those were the money shots in the trailer. But it did have several money shots. Uh, yeah. This film, it's it's no shortage of screams, no shortage of uh, jumpy situations. Um, but like Adam said, there's a lot of comedic relief and I, and I thought that was a really good touch. So I'm surprised to say I agree with Corey on this one. It was For a horror movie, this is the best you're going to get uh, this this holiday. Is it is Halloween a holiday? It is. Okay. This is. holiday season. Uh, it's as holiday as a Valentine's Day. Okay, so, so check it out for, for Halloween or maybe save it for Valentine's Day. Uh, it's, it's your choice. More than just reviews, this is Movie Feuds. Let's get in the car and drive. <laughs>